we talk about training, training with injuries? Because okay. I'm a man with many injuries. For sure. Uh, so in, in jiu-jitsu, injuries seem to be, they come with the territory, they're part of the game. Um, sometimes they're really minor, sometimes they're big. And I think it's important, if you can, for the most part, to train with injuries. Um, I don't think you should push it, but I think it's important to come to class, be seen, listen to technique and do technique if you can, and then roll to your ability. Because there's always going to be something, some nagging injury. But if you could come in and actually keep, keep that mat time going, I think it'll help you exponentially because you don't have that month break or two month break waiting for everything to heal and then you've everyone else has moved on two months and you've gone backwards and it's also harder to come back because that two months then ah you know I've been gone two months and I started doing this and I started doing that and now you don't train you push it off another month um, have a good day hey you too bro Later, Billy. see you buddy um, so it's it's very easy to just stop going all together with an injury if you stop that's why I think it's important to keep coming, keep your mind engaged, keep your body doing what it can. And then even if you have like a major injury, you know, you see guys who disappear and then you see guys who still come and watch. And they may not come to every class like they used to, but they'll come once or twice a week and still, you know, be seen, watch technique, watch how people are rolling. And I think you'll see those guys are motivated to come back quicker and, and, and train sooner. Um, but also when they come back their minds are still sharp and fresh and they're not they're not just dealing with the physical uh, being having to catch up physically you know and mentally now it's just the physical portion where their bodies have to catch up because their minds are still engaged what about training while well, sick oh <clears throat> training by sick well you got me I'm, I hate <laughs> I don't think it's good. <laughs> I'm a germ. I'm a germ guy. Yeah. I uh, I'd say home. I'd say no, because that's something. An injury is one thing. You're not going to pass on an injury, hopefully. Um, but sick, you could pass it on to people, and you could go through a whole class. And then it's affecting other people and their training. And then going home and the kid, you know, as, as a as a guy with a bunch of kids, I don't want to be bringing something home if I don't have to. So, coming when you're sick and contagious, I'd say stay home. That's a good time to rest because it's a little bit different because um, you don't you don't want to infect anybody else and then you're affecting their training and affecting you know down the line so sick stay home feeling better maybe come and watch and then get on the mat as soon as you're you know ready to get on the mat thank you sure